Hey guys, so today we're going to do a video on our second example of graphing tangent and cotangent with transformations. And here we're given y equals negative cotangent of 2x plus pi over 2. And so I'm going to start out by just writing our um, basic transformation formula. So it's cotangent of bx minus c plus d. A is amplitude. B, that helps us figure out our period length which because it's a cotangent, it's pi divided by absolute value of b. And then we I got our c, which helps us figure out our phase, also known as our horizontal shift. And the value of that is c divided by b. Then we've got this d, which is just our vertical shift, vs. Okay, so now I would start writing in what we've got here. First thing I notice, okay, it's negative. That's reflection over x-axis. And remember that we're going to have to do that before we do anything else. So we're going to have to reflect. So, and then, all right, moving on, we don't have any amplitude change. It's still 1. Our period length, we can do that next. So period length equals, or it's going to be pi over absolute value b. So pi over, well b is 2, so it's just going to be pi over 2. That'll be the length of our period. Next we've got our phase shift, so ps. And that's going to be c divided by b. So we've got, well let's think about this for a second. Our formula calls for bx minus c. And what we've done is we've got 2x minus something gives us positive pi over 2 is actually going to be negative pi over 2. So 2x minus negative pi over 2 gives us positive pi over 2. So that's um, c is negative pi over 2. So it's negative pi over 2 divided by 2, which would just give us negative pi over 4. That's our phase shift. OK, so now we've got everything we need to know. Vertical shift is 0. Okay, so now let's um, figure out, well, let's look at what our standard cotangent would look like really quick. We know that there's asymptotes at every pi units, so 2 pi and negative pi. So there's going to be one here, it's going to be one here, it's going to be one here, and there's one at this, the origin, the y-axis, I mean. And know that tangent, um, cotangent, I mean, travels downwards typically, so it goes down like this. It hits at pi over 2, and then continues to go down. So that's our normal tangent graph. And then it's the first thing we need to do, reflection over x-axis. So what, that, what that's going to do is instead of going down like it is there, it's now going to be reflected, and it's going to start going up. Just like our tangent function, it's going to be going up now. So that's what we've got. All right, and then second, we have a period length of pi over 2 instead of pi. So that means we kind of have to squish this a little bit. Move this over here, pi over 2 units, because instead of pi, it's just going to be pi over 2. So now I could write that in. And also, we have a phase shift, negative pi over 4. So we've moved over to the left, pi over 4 units. So I would start out by doing the phase shift, negative pi over 4. That's kind of like our new um, zero. It's kind of like our new y-axis. So I know there's going to be an asymptote there because there's usually an asymptote at the y-axis. We've moved over to the left by pi over 4. Going to be an asymptote there. And then the period length is pi over 2. If you think about your uh, cotangent graph, every time you get to the period length, there's, there's another asymptote. So normally it's pi, and now it's going to be pi over 2. So we're going to travel pi over 2 then we're going to have another asymptote. So if we're going from negative pi over 4, pi over 2 more than that is just going to be positive pi over 4. Then we're going to do it again, travel another pi over 4 over, or pi over 2, I mean, because that's our period length. And instead of just pi over 4, pull 4 we're going to have 3 pi over 4. And that'll just continue infinitely. We'll do it again be another one, and we went from negative pi over 4, we subtracted pi over 2, which gives us negative 3 pi over 4. 
and then there's been no vertical shift. Okay, so that's looking good now. We've taken into account the phase shift and the period length, and now we just have to remember the reflection. So normally, cosine, I mean, cotangent travels down like that, as we talked about. Now it's going to be doing the opposite because we reflected it, so it's going to start start down and go up. It's going to pass right through the origin. It's just going to get to asymptotes, so here, and then here. And you can also note that these important points where it touches the um, x-axis is going to be um, in between the negative 3 pi over 4 and negative pi over 4, so that's just um, negative pi over 2 because it'd be negative 2 pi over 4. And then it's 0 because that's in between negative pi over 4 and positive pi over 4, and then here, just pi over 2. You might need to know that and notice that it's half of the period length is what we added. So I hope this was able to help. This is a pretty tough example using the reflection. Just know that you have to do the reflection before you do anything else. When you have like amplitude changes and you're doing vertical shifts, that will be important. So thanks for watching. Hope this was able to